So I work as an electrician and I've installed a lot of smart home devices. And one thing I never understand is why people get Nest Cams but have iPhones. It doesn't make sense to me because Nest Cams aren't very cheap. They require an $8 a month subscription and it just doesn't work as well with your iPhone. So why not get something with HomeKit? If you're one of these people or just want to better understand how Apple's smart home works, watch this video. All right, let's start with the basics. So if you have an iPhone and you want smart home accessories, just make sure it says works with HomeKit or it has matter support. But if you get something with matter support, you actually have to get a few more devices. So we'll talk about that later. In order to actually add the device to your smart home, you need at least an iPhone or an iPad and some sort of hub. So for a hub, you can use an iPad, Apple TV, or HomePod. And I recommend using either a HomePod or an Apple TV because it has to be connected to the Wi-Fi at all times in order for your devices to work. Plus, the current HomePods and the Apple TV with Ethernet actually have thread support, which the thread networking technology is basically those matter devices I was talking about earlier, which it's becoming the industry standard, so more and more devices are shipping with it. So any smart home devices you get will actually talk to your hub. That way, if you're away, you can still turn your lights on and off or your air conditioner or make sure your door's locked, things like that. Then there's also things like bridges, which is kind of like a hub, but it's a little bit different. So I've installed a few Lutron switches and they all talk to this bridge. Now this bridge actually talks to this hub. So when I turn on the switch, it'll talk to the bridge and the bridge will talk to the hub. So this is nice because a bridge will talk to a hundred devices and then it'll only talk to the hub. So then the hub doesn't get overwhelmed and all your stuff still works nice and fast. All right, let's talk about the home app. So there's a little bit more to it on an iPad, but on an iPhone, on the bottom of the screen, you'll get your home, automation and discover tabs. Let's start with the home tab. So your home tab is kind of where all the devices are and it's probably where you'll spend most of your time in this app, but it's also got these three things right here, which we'll go over right now. So this first button is like three dots with a circle on it. And if you click it, it's kind of like a settings button. So it'll show you the accessories that aren't responding, your home settings, home view and reorder sections. So you can actually decide where you want everything to sit. You can also do your home settings and then you can really get down and customize things that you want or don't want going on with your home. Then you have edit home view and reorder sections, which it's kind of the same thing. Like if I reorder the sections, you'll see I can move my bedroom up to the top and it shows up right there. Then you have this plus button, which is where you can add anything. Accessories, scenes, automations, room, people. We'll talk about that later. But first, let's talk about this little thing. So the intercom you can press and it'll actually record your voice and then play a sound throughout all your home pods. So let's add this device right here. I've got this outlet and I'll plug it in and then I'll just tap my iPad next to it and it should show up on my iPad. So now that it's plugged in, I'll press this add button and add accessory. So here's my outlet, it popped up on my iPad. Sometimes you have to scan a QR code, but the newer devices just pop up. So let's do add to home. Adding a device is pretty simple, but let's talk about automations. If we go to this automation tab and do create new automation. So an automation just triggers multiple accessories when you do a certain action, like when you leave, when you arrive, or the time of day occurs. Let's click an accessory is controlled, my front door lock, click next. When it unlocks, click next. Then I'm gonna click all my lights because I want them all to turn on when my door unlocks. Now it's saved to my home, and when I unlock my door, my lights will automatically turn on. Then you have the Discover tab, which is kind of interesting. It just kind of teaches you a little bit of how to use HomeKit, and it tries to sell you on things, so it's kind of pointless. I hope this video was a little helpful and a little bit entertaining. My wife and I are actually building a house and I plan to fill it with HomeKit accessories, so I'm gonna make tons of videos in the future. I hope I get better at making these videos and help people see the things I did right, the things I did wrong, and help guide people through their HomeKit experience. Thanks for watching.